We have a Kenmore Elite side-by-side -side refrigerator that's uh, at least 20 years old. Uh, we've been able to keep this thing going, but recently we had an issue where the water spout, you can see it right up here, the water spout broke off. So now when you push the water, it squirts out everywhere. So we're going to um, replace it. I bought the part online. Got it right here. Um, and we'll show you how we did this. First thing we're gonna do is pull the refrigerator out, turn the water off and unplug it. So we've got it unplugged uh, and the water turned off. So no water's gonna come out. You can see that it's unplugged. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the tray um, to get to the screws to remove the front panel. This just comes out. Like that. And it's just a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver with two screws. Take out the two screws and slide off the trim. All the controls are here, so in order to get this out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and remove this plug. You can see right there that the plug has a little notch to pull up on, pull up on the notch, and it unplugs just like that. So what we're trying to get at is up under here. So we're going to go ahead and take off these screws and get this panel out of the way. So I've got a nut driver here. This is a quarter inch nut driver. So here's the new part. It comes with two pieces of hose. I think we only need one. But we're working, this is the hose that goes from the ice maker to the back of the refrigerator. This is the hose we need. So this runs down the door and connects the bottom. Here's the little outlet goes there. So the trick is, you pull this out without a way to pull the new one back, then you have to take the whole door apart. So I think what we're gonna do is go down there, disconnect the water line, connect the string, tape a string on it, pull this out, connect the string back to the new one, pull it back in, reconnect it, we should be golden. So here we are at the bottom of the refrigerator, and you can see there's a skirt along here. This, is where the water filter goes in and out. So I think we just pull this, it's already dislodged on that end, pull this end off. So there's the water line, there's the connector. I'm gonna disconnect this from there. Um, Yeah, it just pulls out, actually. Okay, so now we're gonna take this, the old water line, we're gonna connect a string onto it. We're gonna pull the old one up. Goodness. 
Okay, so I removed the hinges, the hinge. I put some blocks here in case the door slid down. So with the hinge removed, I can pull the hose out. The, it's so tight on the hinge that you can't um, tie anything to the hose and get it up through the hole. So now I'm going to take the string and tape it on the hose now and pull the hose up through there. Okay, now we're going to attempt to push it up through the hole. You can see it's coming right out of the top there. So, come up here. Carefully. Pull it up. Success. Now we cut the string here. Get the new one ready to pull down through there. And click off. I was committed to not taking the door off to do this, and so far, so good. Uh, I didn't want to take the door off, have to worry about everything in the freezer defrosting, that sort of thing, ice defrosting, so that's why I decided to do it this way. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the string. I'm using the string to guide it, but I'm really pushing from above so that we don't get caught up anywhere. There we go. There comes the hose out the bottom. Perfect. There's the new spout in place. Now I just need to put the screw back in here. Over here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel back in. It goes like this. Okay. Here's my connector. There's a couple of spare connectors in here that I remember from when I changed the light bulb. I take this apart to change the light bulb. Driver. Fumble on around with that. Got that in there. Okay. Connect this connector back. Let's slide over the top here.
Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna put the hinge back through here. Got the back in there. We're gonna test the door. Door works fine. So, so we're gonna do the same thing. Clean this off. This pushes right in there. Okay. All right. So before we do anything else, we're gonna turn the water on and see if it leaks. back on which has a couple of clips okay clip that one in on the other side yeah. okay look at this so there we are, there's the, uh, you can see the spout. I'm gonna try it out right now, see what, how it works. Right. Fabulous, see how the water goes straight into the cup. All right. So we're all back together, cut the front back on check for leaks so that's how it is that easy and we didn't have to take the door off so uh, my plan worked thanks for watching